I'm feeling your energy, and shorty man, she really into me I got lots of enemies, and they wanna act like they friends with me I came out from bummy tees, now catch me just rocking Javanti By the way guys, this build is going to take a while to get good So don't frustrate and quit on the first time It's gonna take a while to get good since it is a shooter and a pro scorer So don't quit Hello guys, my name is Cooksy and welcome back to another video. Today's video, I'm going to be here on 2K20 showing you guys my new build that I made yesterday. Um, you guys are probably thinking, well, probably nobody's watching this video, but you're probably thinking why well, I'm on 2K20. Well, the guy until Christmas was just a failure. Um, I thought I was going to not play without anybody like just play by myself the whole time but i can't do that so i'll back on xbox bought 2k20 and i'm playing with all my mates so i've actually got two builds this is an only build but you'll mainly only be seeing this build on the channel because my other build is 90 glass cleaning lockdown uh that is when my friends just want me to be a rebounder or a defender or go on that build happily but I'm mostly grinding on this build, doing mixtapes on this build, and doing tutorials. And that's what I'm going to be doing on 2K20. But what you guys came for, as you saw in the title, is this playmaking, post playmaker, I'm sorry. So first you want to start off, make a name, anything, doesn't matter, mine's Yaya. And then position, you want to be center. And then any hand, I just picked the left because I'm mostly going to be, um, actually, I don't even know if it does anything, but I'm picking left hand, jersey number, doesn't matter, 76, continue. Then you'll be faced with the pie charts, the exact same ones from 2K19. It honestly gives it away, post playmaker, you're going to be choosing the shooting and playmaking it is one two three four five six seven no six it is six down from the top and you guys are probably think obviously i keep saying you guys are always thinking well you're probably thinking that it doesn't it has hardly any finishing how is this a pro scorer while well, this build mainly you're going to be post fading post top shotting um and that gives you a higher shooting so if you pick shooting that's what post fade is categorized into then you want to go down and pick the second one down that gives you more strength and vertical so you want to pick that and then you come with your attributes and the attributes are honestly pretty simple you just want to max out your close shot and then you want to not add anything to driving layup as you probably weren't expecting but you want to max out your driving dunk and the reason for not putting anything on your driving layup is because you're basically just going to be dunking and you don't really need it's only it's only like a t 15 difference there's it's not much difference you're still going to make them especially with that finishing badge that we're going to add on later so that gives you one finishing badge not that much but it's enough standing dunk you want to put up to 50 which is not all the way because you're only six um later on you're going to pick 611 so it won't really matter post hook we're not going to put down anything because we're going to be post fading you want to max out your shooting except for your free throw but we're going to add on to free throw just enough until you get one more badge which is 77 and then that means that we have 21 shooting badges max out pass accuracy put up ball handling to 41 and then post moves all the way and just because you added that little bit to ball handling it will give you 20 playmaking you want to go on to interior defense max it out max perimeter defense max lateral quickness skip steal put block up to 42 put offensive rebound and defensive rebound up and they'll perfectly give you max you want to continue for mine i click 
defined once you see up here it just takes away way too much 611 it all just only be good from there max weight 89 wingspan of course pro score takeover you have built a post playmaker Al Horford, Mark Gasol and Nicole oh, I'm not even going to try and say that but now we are going to test the build and I will show you um, basically the required badges because this helps you out a lot so I'll see you guys when we get there ok guys so we are here at the badges by the way this is just when you finish you can click test build and this will allow you test what this build feels like and if you guys want to just see that how OP this build is you can test it and do what I'm doing right now but you want to do copy all these badges into your my career build and by the way you might not be used to the jump shot so that might be taking away a little bit of how you play so I would honestly pick Damian Lillard that is kind of it's just what am I saying? You don't have to, but Damian Lillard, I chose. So finishing, you only get one badge, but that doesn't take anything away because you're just going to be post fading, and post fading isn't categorized into finishing. So you just want to put down back down Punisher. Punisher, as you see at the bottom, it says improves a um, and it increases the chances of a player successfully backing down their opponent. Then you want to go confirm, go to shooting, and this is where stuff gets good so deep fades you want to put hall of fame improves their chances of making a post fade away from deep range and deep range it means from post fading from three so this is you want to make this your first badge and make a hall of fame as quick as you can you want to do hot zone hunter boost the shot percentage for attempts taken in players favorite spots so if you take a shot from the left corner always and make nearly almost all of them then in that spot you will be in your hot zone is what they call it and you want to hall of fame range extender extends the range which a player can effectively shoot so you can shoot further quick draw sp speeds up the release of a jump shot and as a center your jump shots really slow so this is almost required green machine a lot of people will think this isn't good but trust me turn it on and turn it off you'll see the biggest difference and this is basically it's the same as quick draw it's almost required it's in, it just increases um so once you green once it can secular like it helps in your percent and then you want to put catch and shoot to bronze so when you're in the corner it just helps a little bit then you want to confirm go over to playmaking and because you are a post playmaker this is where like this is where you get all your badges so you want to put post spin technician to hall of fame improves the ability of a post spin or drive to work effectively so you your spin will be faster then you want to do hall of fame quick first step provides more explosive first steps out of triple threat and size ups so when you're like to explain. but then you want to do hall of fame space creator um and that improves a player's ability to create space from a defender dimer hall of fame boost the shot percentage for open teammates on jump shots after touching a pass then the next are really you can do what you want with the next um like you can pick any hall of fame um right now Mike Wang, he's the guy that makes a bit of the 2k20 in the badges. He made Unblockable a really bad badge, so I wouldn't put the, the rest on Hall of Fame. But you could maybe put it on Handles for Days, so that because you're a playmaker, you're, like, you can ball handle for a while. Um, you can do really any one that you want. Right now, I'm just going to pick a random one, like... I'm just honestly going to do handles for days. Confirm. You've only got three defending, but obviously this is a shooting build. You're not really going to get a few reads or anything, so you want to put the rest on Intimidator. So when you're in the paint or next to someone, 
they will get scared and maybe miss the shot so then you want to hit confirm and yeah that is the build now i will show you guys all the animations that you want to select on this because the default animations are really slow and non effective so if you guys want to copy those badges do it now i'll move on to the animations by the way you have to be in the my career menu to do the animation so i'll see you guys there okay guys so we are at the animations if you guys want to know how to get here you just go on this menu see i'm in the park you want to click the three the button that's three lines on your controller xbox controller and then you want to go my player experience um my player appearance then go to my animations but you guys go to animation store i'm just showing you guys my animations and i've already got them equipped so first one jump shots damian lillard um that's just preferable you don't have to but i am unlocking jump shot creator since i just made this build so i'll make an update video after that and show you guys everything that i've got free throw 54 that is the most recommended for centers so because therefore it is the slowest the sorry the slowest free throw so it will be the easiest one to time then we will you want to do big 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 for big for dribble pull up big for spin jumpers big for hop jumpers you won't really be doing that much but I'm just telling you guys then post fades you want to this is the important one post fade you want to do fade three fade three is the best one for 2k20 and if you want to look up every video fade three they've all got fade three so this is fade nine his legs like wobble and fade three is just easier to green and more consistent post hooks you won't really be doing hooks obviously because your finishing is not and hooks and finishing and your hooks are not at all so you won't be hooks but anyways if you want to pick hook three post hop shots um this one's a really good one that you will be using but mine is post hop shot five post hop shot six looks like that he's a little in inconsistent in his hands and then post top shot five is just it looks better to be honest and it's easier to green all these i picked that are the easiest to green and a lot of people on youtube um a lot of people on youtube um picked for top shot five and then post shimmy fades you want to pick post shimmy fade eight and then which is the default and then post shimmy hook three which is the default but remember you won't be doing hooks so that's basically the ones that's basically the only animations that you guys need You're, you won't be dribbling much but you guys can pick your dribbles it's not that like you won't lose so much for that but yeah those are my animations and that's the video so um a, a video will be coming out soon of an update and if you guys want me to do um how to post how to do post moves in 2k20 um drop a like down below and just put in the comment section just put yes if you want me to make a video on how to do post moves because this build if you're not good at uh, being a post scorer then this build is not recommended to you you need to know how to play and if you don't know how to play and you still really really want to make this build um just put down below yes and i will show how to do post moves but that has been me cooksy or my dumb xbox name tag flicks and i'll see you guys in the next video later